So a viewer has asked now if the queen will be wheeled in in a wheelchair. So that's what this video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. So yeah, apparently this, the uh, the queen uh, didn't like the images of her sister uh, having been wheeled around uh, that uh, got out, and just um, it's said that uh, she doesn't want those images to be out there uh, with her. And uh, but apparently she is being wheeled around here and there. And uh, so we'll uh, address the cards uh, with that issue. Okay, so the question is from Linda Joe. Thank you so much, Linda Joe, for asking the question. And it's very similar to yesterday's question, but there is a slight. Um, uh, difference and that is Linda Joe says uh, will the Queen uh, be at Phillips Memorial but she wants to know if you will be she will be discreetly wheeled uh, in and out and uh, we may find that out or we may not so we'll ask the question and see what the cards say thank you Linda Joe for asking uh, the question so yeah so regarding uh, the Queen attending the memorial will she be discreetly wheeled in and out you know is that how this is all going to take place I don't wonder if that's not the case. It seems to me like I read something recently that there's there being some uh, changes made to several of the residences that the Queen might uh, use, but uh, it seems to me that she's going to um, just stay uh, in Windsor and not in the, the castle, but in one of those uh, little states on Windsor. Before we do anything, let's uh, have just a moment of meditation. So Linda Joe asks, regarding the Queen and this Phillips Memorial, will she be discreetly wheeled in and out? Will the Queen be discreetly wheeled in and out? Thank you, uh, Linda Joe, for asking the question. Will she be discreetly wheeled in and out? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Will the queen be discreetly wheeled in and out of Prince Philip's memorial? Okay. Signifier card of that question is this uh, Knight of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, uh, motions, uh, getting things happen, but specifically plans. And the knight is the uh, the member of the royal court who, when he's given a task, he's going to make it happen. And so this knight has been given the task of getting a plan to make this thing happen. Signifier card. The challenge to that, okay, is this uh, Four of Swords. Well, the challenge, it is this. The Four of Swords uh, is uh, Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, Health. And the Four of Swords is, is typically where you see the uh, warrior uh, resting on his own sarcophagus uh, with three swords in the air pointing down that uh, warn him, uh, you know, don't get up too quickly at your own peril. Usually one sword at his side represented by this faithful dog and uh, protector. So the challenge to this knight uh, getting this plan together and making it happen is uh, the very uh, fact that the Queen needs to rest. The base of the whole reading, judgment. Well, of course it is. It's a uh, final judgment, uh, whenever that might be. This uh, whole memorial has to do with Prince Philip's uh, judgment and, um, and a reminder of all of that. So that's the base of the entire reading, uh, judgment. The uh, past of this reading, with this five of coins, the Five of Coins is being left out in the cold, and um, so this could be, uh, and uh, coins are value, uh, worth, and uh, this could, and this is usually uh, represented by some uh, beggars outside of the church. So you see the church through the, the window with the Five of Coins there, but um, they can't go in, or they won't go in, or, or, or they're going in, it's, but it's being at that moment, being left out in the cold. And uh, in the past of this reading, I think this is what the Queen is perhaps feeling about, uh, you know, not being able to attend everything that she would like to. She's being a bit left out in the cold. And uh, perhaps this might be an opportunity to uh, 
make her feel better about that. And in the sky of this reading is the high priestess. This is number two in the um, in the fool's journey. And so the high priestess comes to us with uh, all the spiritual uh, uh, will that we need, all the knowledge, all the uh, um, motherly intention that uh, a high, you would expect from a high priestess. And that's at the sky of this reading. So. That's interesting. And the likely outcome of the first card of this part of this uh, diet across then is the devil. Yeah. Being in, uh, you know, all the, de the devil is in the details. It's, um, you know, all the uh, hard work that comes with it. And uh, I don't know. It, it's, usually I read this as uh, being tied to ill intentions. And um, I don't know that it's that really. But I think it is uh, the devil is, um, you know, just the difficulty of what's uh, what can happen here. So, uh, will she be wheeled in and out? It hasn't really addressed that, so let's do four more cards. Okay. Four more cards. Linda Joe wants to know, will the queen be wheeled in and out discreetly? So, let's see. The uh, self of that question is going to be right here in the hermit. So, the hermit tells us to look for a way, plan our path uh, before we uh, take that next step, make that next move forward. So, the hermit is a perfect uh, signifier for this. <clears throat> Certainly is what it would uh, involve. I'm not going to take the card that came out right there, but the environment that that is in uh, is this uh, queen of coins. So, this is the queen. Coins are value and uh, worth. And uh, so, the environment that uh, taking this next step is in is that the queen wants to do it. Okay. Uh, the Oops, and the fears for this, whether she'll be wheeled uh, in and out, comes to us in the form of this Ten of Coins. You know, this is the card that represents uh, generational uh, value, uh, generational wealth, but generational value. And so, yeah, um, this is uh, the hopes and the fears is that there's enough uh, the generational will all around the queen at this moment to get this thing to happen. Remember, all those people are, are praying uh, for the queen as well. Her relatives, and then the likely outcome will she be wheeled uh, in and out is this king of cups, king of compassion. So, yeah, so when the king says a thing will be done, it will be done. And I take this as a big yes card, and I think probably that uh, Linda Joe, yeah, I think I'm going to make the leap to say that this king of cups is this king of compassion is saying, you know, whatever it takes uh, to get the queen uh, here and to do what she wants to do, uh, this king is going to make it happen. And, and since the question is about the wheelchair, uh, yeah, I think that's how it's going to happen. Interesting. I think I'll read again quickly. So, uh, will she be wheeled in and out? We start off with this uh, Knight of Wands, this Knight with a plan. But his challenge is the very fact with this Four of Swords that the Queen uh, needs to rest. Uh, the uh, basis of the whole thing is judgment. Uh, Philip's uh, judgment, the Queen's pending judgment, and that's, uh, in fact, uh, what uh, has uh, put us on this journey. Uh, the past of this reading with this five of coins is having been felt left out in the cold in her duties so far, and uh, and uh, somewhat anyway. And in the sky of this reading with the high priestess, giving us all the uh, the spiritual will and knowledge that we need to get a thing done. Remember, she is the head of the church. And then the Church of England, anyway. And then the likely outcome is that the devil is in the details, and perhaps the devil himself, you know, because uh, she is the head of the church, and who's to say he wouldn't want to throw a wrench uh, in her works? But no one will show us how to come through it with more grace than uh, Queen Elizabeth II. But now the very um, the very self of that question is represented by the hermit, which of course is studying your path forward before you make a move. And uh, it's in the environment of the queen and all her value, the queen of, of, of coin, queen herself. Uh, the uh, hopes and the fears for that is this uh, ten of coins, which is generational value. And that's what she has all around her, uh, praying for her, helping her, making sure this can be done, if it's the best thing to be done. And then the likely outcome with this king of cups just tells me this is the king of compassion. The king is completely in charge. In charge. And yeah, this uh, uh, the fact that we're talking about a wheelchair, this is telling me, yes, yeah, it'll, it'll be done if that's in fact how it has to be done. Well, just like yesterday's video, we'll see uh, how this pans out. So I hope you uh, liked the video, and I hope uh, I was uh, accurate and, uh, and you appreciated the reading of the cards. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Turaco. Turaco or Turacho? I'm not sure. Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think, from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. There are lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. 
you know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print, but on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss that it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful and I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, the only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Toracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck. And I think they're beautiful. And I love using them. Um, they are pretty, pretty cool. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.